Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be making this video. I feel like, no, not feel like, it has been a while since I've been able to speak to you guys and that's because there have been so many changes and transitions and things that have just been crazy and beyond my control in terms of where I've been, um, having to relocate because of the whole situation um and you know it's it's been hard but i am so happy and excited to be able to sit here and talk to you guys again because i am finally in my own place and um i your girl is officially a university graduate a degree holder okay so um i'm happy to be able to like come back and kind of talk to you guys a little bit and what's been kind of on my mind is just reflecting on my time at school um reflecting on my time at howard and just how i survived college in general and how i made the most of my time there so yeah let's get right into it student at Howard University in the School of Business studying international business and for my four years I really really think that like I made the best of my time at school um, so a couple of things we're gonna touch on today is you know internships making the most of opportunities studying abroad working on campus I dealt with that and so yeah let's get right into it so the first thing I'm going to touch on is money and I think that's like one of the biggest things and the biggest concerns that everybody has when they go to college. Um, I was very fortunate to be offered a scholarship when I went to Howard but that scholarship only covered my tuition which I was very grateful for but I still had to find money to pay for it. Well my first year I still had to pay for my housing and my meal plan um well it's a part of it so basically that was one of the things that i was the most scared about because i was leaving jamaica with no way to like actually pay off my bills and i was scared so that was one thing i had to deal with but honestly guys if you are diligent and if you work hard and if you are really like pushing for what you want you can definitely like make it work so what i was fortunate enough to have is an on-campus job that first year and that really helped me with my finances and that really helped me to um you know support myself and aside from working on campus i also when i went up um some of you may know that i ran a business in jamaica called minx where i made headbands and headwear um but I gained the skill of sewing from that venture and when I got to school I immediately was like I need a sewing machine and I got a sewing machine but even though I didn't continue the business minx I actually started doing tailoring on the side which was very convenient because everybody in school of business was wearing suits to class and they needed their suits tailored and you know they're on a college budget so immediately i had like a clientele once people started to you know trust me and you know hear about me being able to sew like i would get clients that way and that was also one of the things i did um so in terms of budgeting and money i was always very like um proactive about earning and you know even though i did have an on-campus job i still worked really hard outside of that um so i was sewing I, fe I, I cooked for a while like I was doing this thing called run a boat where I would cook food and sell it at school to like you know other Caribbean people um, I would also I was selling patties at one point like I got like like a case of patties and I was just selling patties um, I did a bunch of different things um, but most of this most of the time it was just like a side hustle um, and that was you know just something I had to do because I was 
financially supporting myself. Um, once I got to sophomore year, my freshman year I had a meal plan. Once I got to sophomore year, I was, you know, buying my own groceries, my own toiletries, all that stuff. Like I was basically kind of, you know, taking care of myself as an adult for the first time. And one of the things you have to do is just figure out how to earn money so that you can, you know, take care of yourself. And even though um, they stopped giving on-campus jobs, like after my second year or so, I was still able to support myself financially because I was proactive. And on top of working, you know, outside of uh, on top of having my side hustles, I also saved money from my internships, which is the next thing I'm going to touch on. So, internships. Internships are a great way to build your resume and a great way to build your network, um, strengthen yourself from a career perspective, um, and just in general gain experience into the working world. Whether or not you get an internship in the particular role or field that you want to be in, having any type of job, having any type of corporate experience will help you to get ultimately get the job that you want. And I was pro proactive enough and fortunate enough to have three internships for my three summers of college. So my freshman year I interned um, in finance and my second year I interned in finance again and then lo and behold my third year I ended up interning in finance and then subsequently I got a full-time offer in finance which I accepted and you know your girl's about to be working working for real but it was because I was proactive and it was because I built my network from my freshman year and you know I worked really hard to maintain those relationships as well and that's a part of why I was able to graduate with a job in hand because I, you know, made sure to have internships. And as a freshman, it's especially hard to get internships and it's even more hard to get internships if you're an international student. So making sure you have the right grades, because if you're a freshman, you have nothing to show except for your grades. So make sure that freshman year you have the right grades. My freshman year when I got my internship, I think I had like a 3.9 GPA. Um, but you have to make sure that you have the grades to show that because the, that's the only thing they have to judge you based off. Obviously, as time goes on, even if your GPA drops, you will have an internship under your belt to show that you know you are a good candidate. But your freshman year if you really want that job you better have that gpa and you better have those extracurriculars as well and you better be able to show that you know you are a good candidate and you can do that by applying to a lot of different programs there are so many different freshman programs um that you can apply to and you know those are also great resume builders as well definitely definitely do internships, that's a great way to propel your career and if you're in college, obviously you're you know, building up yourself for a career. Even if you want to be an entrepreneur, having an internship in college will not only build your resume but also help you to earn you know, income while you're you know, on your summer break. Stay active and you know, no gaps on that resume. The next thing I want to touch on is study abroad. So study abroad is something, it's a time that was very special to me because I worked really hard to get there and I worked really hard to get accepted, you know, into a program abroad and once I did that, I was able to save money, actually, I guess earn money, I don't know if that is the way to put it, but because the school I went to abroad was cheaper than Howard, I actually ended up getting a refund. Um, and that's a huge deal because, you know, if you get a refund, then you're able to use that money to spend on other things. And I was able to use that money to help me, you know, travel and spend time in different countries. Sorry guys, my camera died. But yes, yeah, studying abroad definitely allowed me to save money um, by going to a school that was cheaper than Howard, which allowed me to travel a lot more than I would have been able to otherwise and you know I got to see 11 countries when I went abroad and that was an amazing experience that I you know I, I would never trade for anything um, but that also is a part of how I maximize my time at school that was one of the things I really 
thought that was out of my reach and kind of impossible but you know in the end I made it work and when I really realized that like my scholarship was enough to pay for the school I was going to that was a big game changer for me and that was like a huge um that was a big game changer for me and I'm very glad that I took the leap and went and did something that was so completely like unimaginable for me. Another way I maximized my time at Howard was being a part of the School of Business Executive Leadership Honors Program, which is SBEL for short. Um, but the Honors Program is essentially a career and just personal growth enrichment program for high achieving students. Um, you basically are selected your freshman year my freshman year you got selected based off your high school gpa but now you have to interview you have to apply an interview for it um but you know if you are pursuing howard and the school of business you should definitely apply there are some benefits to being a part of the program i wouldn't say it's a must for you know making your howard experience but definitely if you are a high achieving student you should consider being a part of the honors program um, not only does it strengthen your resume to show that you are a part of a, an honors program at your school, but it's also a huge push, I guess, professionally because in the program, all we do is interact with companies, you know, we do different workshops and activities to help strengthen us as people in general and as um, budding professionals. So we do like there's been like resume workshops, there's like um, conversations about international issues. We have different companies come in a lot and so I guess one of the main objectives is exposure to companies and allowing you to interact with those people and get to know the recruiters and get familiar with them in order to pursue professional opportunities with those companies but you also get personal growth as well and also a part of the honors program is you know teaching you how to present yourself and behave in a corporate setting and some of the ways they do that is through the retreats that we have so during my time in honors we had several like retreats um these are like professional retreats where we would like go out and meet companies instead of them coming to us um there were, we usually have like one international year and one domestic. So during my time at Howard, the honors program went to London and Singapore. Um, I actually got to go to London with them. And then for Singapore, I wasn't there because I was studying abroad in France. It's, um, it's a good opportunity to be a part of the program, not only for the travel, but the people that you meet and the people that you connect with. Um, your class becomes your family. Um, so for honors, you, there's basically a group of students from freshman, sophomore, senior, junior year and we're all together in one cohort and you know those are the people that you get to know over the course of your entire time at Howard if you stay in the program. Obviously you're not like bound to it, you can leave if you want to and a bunch of people did leave because it didn't serve them anymore but that to me that was something that was worthwhile so I stayed. Um, but the honors program is definitely a great way to um, richen your time in the school of business. So the last topic I want to talk about is making use of opportunities. And this kind of touches on everything that I've already spoken about. But I think what made my time at Howard worthwhile is the fact that I made use of the opportunities that came my way. Um, I participated in case competitions and won some case competitions, um, which you know went into my resume. Um, I participated in, uh, I applied for a bunch of different scholarships that I learned about, whether you know that was through group me's or the honors program. I did apply for and receive a bunch of different scholarships based on just being aware of what was going on in my environment. Um, I'm Bloomberg certified, which is something that, you know, we have a Bloomberg lab at Howard and you can go into the lab and get certified, like to use a Bloomberg terminal. Um, I also participated in like a Tableau training program, so now I'm Tableau certified, which is just another opportunity that I was exposed to while I was at Howard and I took advantage of. 
I also, you know, went out of my comfort zone and participated in a hackathon, even though I have no, like, technological background in terms of coding. I mean, in my last two years, I did study IS as my concentration, but like when I participated in a hackathon, I was very new to coding and that only strengthened me as a problem solver and a critical thinker. And just making use of those kinds of opportunities, even when, you know, it doesn't necessarily align with your end goal or even if it's like kind of out of your comfort zone, will definitely allow you to not only gain professional opportunities, but also to meet people and build your network. And networking is one of the most important skills you're going to learn in college. Um, so, yeah you know it's not a, it not it's not just about parties and like excitement and dorm life i mean those things are a part of college too but in order to look back at your time in college and feel fulfilled you definitely have to participate in things outside of entertainment and excitement and you definitely have to you know insert yourself into situations where you're gonna be able to benefit from that in some way professionally because that's the goal of going to college um so yeah i i look back at my time with at howard and i don't feel any type of like regret i don't feel like i missed out on anything because i did my best with the time and resources that i had um obviously at the time like while i was going through college i would look at different things and be like oh i wish i could do that or oh you know that would be cool to do but ultimately i think being so busy especially you know doing my side hustles and stuff um i i that kept me out of trouble because i feel like there are certain things and organizations and like you know just events and things that i would have pursued that wouldn't have served me so honestly don't let the fear of missing out get you down in college because there's so much going on like there are so many things to do and participate in and so many things to get caught up in as well um so if you are busy with productive things i don't think anyone should feel like they're missing out because you're doing what's best for you at the time so yeah just the whole point of this video is just to look back and reflect and, you know, kind of talk about my time at Howard and I'm so proud of everything that I've accomplished and it feels so good to say that I'm done and I hope that this video can help somebody entering college, um, somebody currently going through college, you know, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down below. I am here for you guys and I... I'm now able to make videos comfortably because you know your girl is I'm in a I'm, I'm in a better situation now. So I I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, the content will be a little bit different now that I've graduated from college, but definitely reach out if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to make a video for you guys. So I'll see you soon. Bye.